Hi everyone, Susan's Book Journey here. So I have a review to do, another review, and it's the fifth book in the House of Night series, and it is called Hunted. So we're on Tame Left Off, and this book picks up Zoe and her friends are, they've escaped the school, and they've pretty much, um, they've gone to where, um, her friend and her, and the other red vampire fledgings, red fledgings live, which is, um, in the tunnels under the city. It, the book is based out of Tulsa, like, it says that they live in Tulsa, Oklahoma. So, there's, like, this, um, train depot. And it's closed down. And underneath is tunnels. Because that's where back in the heyday of smuggling in booze and alcohol, that's where it would go in the Prohibition years. It, they would put it in under the tunnels. And then you could walk. There's a bunch of, um, tunnels that run all underneath the city. So, they live under the ground, so Zoe and her friends from the House of Night go to the tunnels and are underground in the tunnels with their friend that's a red vampire, and so they're under there for a while, and then Zoe, um, Zoe's ex-human boyfriend comes along because she had called him. And said you need to get your family underground, somewhere underground. Because this uh, immortal called Kelowna, he doesn't like underground, the earth. Because that's how he was um, bound, was in the folklore, in the history. He was, in the Cherokee prophecy, he was um, going after the women and men, changing the men and basically having his way with the women. And so he, they made a beautiful woman that he couldn't resist. And what ended up happening was she, as soon as he penetrated her, she um, changed back to clay and pots and everything. And he ended up um, being trapped underground because she was in a cave so they trapped him in there and he was trapped for a long time until Neffert um released him and so we find out that he doesn't like underground so they're underground right now and then a little later on in the little while late not too far into the book um as I was saying Zoe's ex-boyfriend, human boyfriend, um, shows up. She had imprinted with him a while back, and then the imprint was broken. And so she was talking to him because he came to where she was. And then she went outside with him to talk to him and to tell him, you need to go, go now, like, leave. I don't want anything to do with you. It's easier this way type of thing. And she ends up getting um, attacked by a raven mocker. She gets a big scar, a big, where the claw comes and scratches her. And so they end up having to um, take her back to the House of Night, back into the enemy's camp, as they said, to um, heal her as much as possible and so she ended up getting healed as much as possible and then they made plans to get out again so they got out sorry my cat is being a pain in the grumpers so um, they ended up um, going back and then they left they escaped again and near the end, I don't want to ruin the books if you haven't read them and you were thinking of reading them, but in the end, they, um, drive Kelowna and Nefert away for a while. He's not, like, dead. They want him dead, but he's not dead yet. 
So, so it gives them time to come up with uh, a plan, a better plan. So, this book, it was just a lot more drama of, like, boyfriend problems again because she started dating her uh, ex vampire boyfriend because he just turned to a vampire and he broke up with her when he found out that she he walked in on her having sex with a teacher and then she ends up having to re-imprint with her ex-boyfriend human ex-boyfriend and then um the fledging that I talked about in the other book when he died he came back and he ended up kissing her in this book and uh, just this big drama fest again and I don't understand it like I don't get I guess that's just the way YA is I guess maybe I don't know if all the YA authors are like this but I just know this one is and it's like I've never had that many problems with a triangle love triangle never ever but yeah so just with that and a little and a bunch of other stuff that I didn't feel that was really good with this book I have to say I give it a 2.5 out of 5 stars and that's bad for me because I've never given a book that low of stars before but that's what I give this book so leave a comment in the comment section down below if you've um read the books before or what your take from reading just reviews if you've thought of reading the book what your take is on this book and until next time bye